Hi, I'm Patty with Comax Business Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at Secure Print. And what Secure Print allows you to do is send a job from your PC with a code to the copier, and that job will not print until you go and key that code in and release the job. Uh, this eliminates people's jobs getting intermingled or uh, eliminates uh, you standing there and somebody taking your job. Um, and it's also a really good security feature. Um, that way, if you need to print something confidential you don't want anyone to see, it will hold in that box until you go to the copier and physically release it. Uh, this is also good, too, if you need to um, maybe print on tabs or you're going to do thick paper, those type things. That way, you can set your settings on the PC, send it to that secure print box, go to the copier and make your changes at the copier at that time. That way, you don't have to do too many steps to the copier. So let me show you how you do that from the PC, and then we'll take a look at how you retrieve it. I'm going to show you today how to set up a uh, little shortcut, a little icon on your main screen so that when you retrieve your secure print, it'll be, the process will go a little bit faster. So we're going to touch our menu button. We're going to go to Utility. We're going to go to number three where it says Administrator Settings. Now, um, your all's code will always be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mine's a little bit different, so just ignore what I'm keying in here. Okay, once you get your code in, you're going to touch OK. You're going to go to number one, where it says System Settings. Okay, and then up at the top, we're going to forward to page three. And we're going to go down to the bottom, where it says Custom Display Settings. And we're going to set us up a little button on the main screen. So we're going to go to number one, where it says Main Screen Default Settings. Okay, now what you're going to look for you're going to look for a key uh, that says do not use. So that means it's not in use at the time. So that just happens to be number one. So we're going to highlight that key. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to come over here to where it says system user box, because that's what the secure print works from. And then we're going to select secure print. And then touch OK. And OK. And close back to your main screen here. So now when you get ready to retrieve your secure print, you're going to go to Menu. And I have a little, we just set this little shortcut button up here that says Secure Print. And that makes the process a lot faster by having that icon already on your main screen. To set up your secure print from your PC, you're going to pull up your document just like you normally would. You're going to do a file print. You want to make sure that you choose the right Konica Minolta print driver. You go to go into Properties or Preferences. Okay, now at this point, if I want to send some settings with my document, I want to go ahead and make those selections now. So maybe I want to go into Layout, and on this document, I want to tell it to do two-sided, and I want to go in and Staple. So once you've made your selections, you're going to go back to your Basic tab, go to Output Method, uh, and it's always defaulted to print, so you want to do your drop down and select secure print. Now you'll notice this little user settings box pops up, so this is going to allow you to key in an ID and a password. Now I like to use just an ID, uh, but you can use an ID and a password if you prefer. And here's kind of something helpful. Um, I try to use numeric. That way it's a lot easier to retrieve at the copier. So I'm going to go ahead and key in my ID here. And I would suggest that you do not use 1234 because a lot of people like to do that. Okay, so your password, if you choose to use one, um, I would keep it the same thing as my ID. That way it's easier to remember and it's easier to key. But like I say, I prefer not to use a password. So then you're going to touch OK. Now, just kind of keep in mind, the first time that you do a secure print, that little box pops up. Thereafter, it does not because it stores your ID in that box, and it keeps it for your next job that you do a secure print on. 
So if you need to go back and change any of your ID or passwords, you can come in under user settings. And if you wanted to delete that out, just highlight it, delete it, key in your new ID, or if you wanted to add a password or change it, you would do it right here. Select OK. OK. And print. You should be good to go. Your um, document should be at the copier for you to retrieve with your ID and or password. Now just remember that um, secure print is not unique to just one job. It remembers and stores those IDs and passwords into every job that you do that you use the secure print method on. Okay, you'll notice once the job gets to the copier, you'll see your little blue data lights flashing. And as soon as it has received all the information, uh, you're going to hear a slight beep. And that tells you that the information has totally been received. Now, to retrieve your document, you're going to touch your menu button. You're going to select Secure Print. And you're going to type in the ID that you gave it at the PC. Touch OK. OK. So now you'll notice I have three documents out here. So what I can do, I can highlight each one of them if I want to, or I can touch Select All, and they'll all print at the same time. Now in this case, I'm just going to select one because I want you to know, if once you touch Print, I want you to know that you can change your settings down here at the bottom of the screen if you decided that you wanted to do it, go back to single-sided, um, or if you want to staple or not staple. Usually you send your settings with the job to the copier, but if you've forgotten to do something or you want to change some settings, you can go down here and make your choices or your selections here. And then all you're going to do is touch your Start button, and you're good to go. Now the beauty of this is once that document is printed, it automatically deletes, so you don't have to manually go back in there and delete your document. Hi, I'm Patty with Comox Business Systems. Uh, we'd like to thank you for joining us today. Uh, we put together a series of videos hoping that it will help you operate your biz hub and understand a little bit better. Uh, if you have trouble, you're always welcome to call us at our toll-free number, 888-483-7440, or you can go to our website at www.comoxwv.com. We appreciate your business and look forward to working with you. Thank you.